Hello, my fellow HBICs. How are you doing this evening, this afternoon, this morning? This I'm thinking might be a short video. I don't know. I'm, I'm like mass recording today. So you're going to see this outfit on repeat. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I do think this is going to be a short video. I do. I have been asked several times by different subscribers the similar question. And basically it's, can someone else take your manifestation away from you, regardless of what it is, whether it be money, specific person, I don't know what else they could take from you, your car, <laughs> whatever. Um, let me answer that question with a question. Are you the HBIC? If you're new here, HBIC is head bitch in charge. Are you the HBIC of your reality? Are you the king or the queen in your reality? Are you? Are you the god of your reality? Are you the operant power? Then how in the fuck can somebody else take your damn manifestation? How? You're the damn boss. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. You can allow them to. Yes, you can. You can give them the power to take things away from you. But it's you who is determining that. It is you who is allowing it. So don't allow it. Stop it. If you're the head bitch of your reality, we do not allow others to take things from us. No, you do not give others free will. You do not give power to others in your reality. Only you can do that. Only you create in your reality. So no, I, my answer to that is no, because I do not allow anyone to take anything from me unless I want them to have it. And that is exactly how you should be thinking. You're the operant power. You determine what happens. If you choose to give somebody free will to take your shit, it will happen. Yes, but that's because that became your dominant thought. And if you're sitting at home worrying that, you know, I'm going to use the example of celebrity specific person, okay? Or a third party and your specific person. Um, only because I think it's easier to relate to that than somebody getting into your bank account. Although well, that can happen too. So I guess we'll use all of these. But um, if you sit at home stressing that your specific person has found a third party or whatnot and they are going to choose that third party over you and you just keep thinking like that and thinking like that and thinking like that. Or you're over here trying to manifest a celebrity specific person and you're worried that he's going to or she's going to hop, skip and jump to another fan or whatnot. If that's what you consider yourself, it's just a fan. You shouldn't be. You are equal to all. But anyway, then you know the rules. Your dominant thoughts create. Yes? Yes? So if you are dominantly thinking that others can steal your SP or others can steal your money, whatever it is you want to talk about, then that is what's going to manifest. So stop thinking that. Every time that thought pops up, say no. No, I'm the HBIC in my reality. Okay, I get what I want. Everything always works out for me. I'm a master manifester. And that mother effer is head over heels in love with me and always chooses me. He's, he or she is always loyal and faithful to me. I am always the one that is picked first. I am always picked first. Your SP only has eyes for you. Okay, boom, done. Boom, done. No, that's it. Make those your dominant thoughts. When that negative thought pops up, you just slap Crackle, pop that bitch down. Take your power back. You're the one with the power. Don't be giving it away. Simple. So I'm telling you, keep on your normal average thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Of everybody can take shit away from me. They're always going to pick another person or someone's always hacking into my account. Yep. You, you, okay, fine. Now that's what you're going to manifest. Sit over here. And be affirming that you're always picked. They only have eyes for you. You are the HBIC of your reality, so no one can take anything away from you. Your accounts are always safe and secure and untouchable other than you. Untouchable from anyone other than you. 
boom, done. No one can take anything away from you. So I guess technically it's a yes, no answer, but you're the one who provides the yes, no answer because it's your affirmations. It's your dominant thoughts. So stop worrying about people taking your shit away from you. Stop worrying about it. Stop thinking about it. Kim, you can't just stop. It still pops up. Okay. Then beat the shit out of it with an affirmation. Beat the shit out of that stupid ass thought and let it know how hell no. No, 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 no. I'm the God of this reality. Okay. And that doesn't happen in my reality. This is what happens. And spew out your affirmation. I'm being sarcastic and silly because, come on. You're the HBIC. Wear that fucking crown. You're the king. You're the queen. You judge that up and you let the world know. There ain't nobody above you. You're it. You're the top. At least that's what I think in my reality. Ain't nobody taking shit from me. And ain't nobody taking shit from you. Don't allow that to be your dominant thought. Okay? You're a powerful bitch. Trust in yourself. Get off the negative thoughts and get on your affirmations. That's the only thing you need to worry about. Staying on your affirmations. Okay. So if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Give me a like, leave a comment and come back and see me. Join my fellowship of HBICs. We love each other here. We take care of each other. And when I don't answer a comment right away, somebody will answer you. That's how it rolls over here. And I love it. We have a good time over here. Okay. So get your crown on. Do whatever you got to do. Remind yourself how you're the head bitch in charge, head boss, head badass, whatnot. And your shit's untouchable. Okay. Love you all. See you in a day or two. Get on your affirmations.